But here, can you quickly describe the challenges related to further improving the performance of this power unit on the, the 2016 car? Right. Uh, discussing the 2016 challenge, I think we need to discuss about the efforts we put in place. And uh, we should not forget that the 2016 power unit design has started now a month ago, when in fact we were as well developing the 2015 power unit uh, during the season. So. Uh, it has been somehow a real challenge try to overlap or to coordinate in parallel the two projects, making sure that we are progressing as much as possible in 15. And I think that it has been quite obvious the progress we did, but in parallel without somehow compromising the 2016 project to make sure that everybody was focused on maintaining the milestones of the project itself. Now, uh, while in terms of effort, that was a huge uh, effort and uh, I think the team uh, worked very well in that respect. Uh, in terms of design, uh, it was clear to us that it was necessary and needed to do a step further compared to what we did in 15. So 15 has represented for us already a good step forward compared to the past, but again, uh, to make sure that we are somehow leading the competition in terms of power units, a further step was required. And, uh, Somehow that was the real challenge. Would you, since you touched the issue of uh, in-season development, would you, would you like to give us a brief guideline through the complexity of the system uh, which regulates the in-season development uh, um, by the current regulation? Right. The regulations of in-season development, in fact, is, is related to the regulations of the tokens. The tokens is a system in which we have a total amount of opportunities to develop, which is limited by the number of total tokens which are possible. Each token somehow is a modification possible. So we have a limited number of modification allowed, but each single items we are developing may have different weight due to the importance of the development itself. So certain development may count three tokens, other two or one. Then you do the total sum and the sum need to respect somehow the total numbers of tokens which are allowed for the season, which for 2016 is 32 tokens. If by the start of the season you are not spending all of them, whatever you've not spent could be used during the season to do again some modifications and try somehow to develop your power unit. Uh, today's hybrid engines, uh, we're now the third season of this new generation, and they have reached a high degree of efficiency. Uh, how does that compare to the formal uh, generation of normally aspirated V8s? Right. The efficiency of our power units are quite incredible. And I think that if you look what exists on, on, uh, in the world, what we are achieving so far is really uh, the highest possible and really unbelievable. Uh, compared to what was the, the standard aspirated engine we had in the past, it's almost double. And when you're discussing about double efficiency, it means that whatever is the number of fuel you've got available, you are extracting almost the double of power from the, from the engine itself. And finally, a new exhaust scheme has been implemented on all F1 cars this year to improve the sound. Can you briefly explain how it works? Right, that's a change of regulation to try to further improve the sound of the engine. Uh, the sound has regularly, regularly improved during the season because as well, the, the increase of performance of our power unit. But this year we have dedicated exhaust systems for the wastegate uh, when we are simply not uh, filling the turbine with the, the gas exhaust. We are simply going in separated exits and these separated exits are there somehow to improve the sound of the engine itself.